And we are live. Hello, everyone. I'm Darth Grayson. I'm Darth Asa. And today we will be talking about the prequel trilogy. Um, we're, we're back, by the way. Yeah, it, it's been a while. Uh, sorry yeah. about our pretty random uploads that we've been uploading. <laughs> I mean, like, I know, we told, ago. I know we said like a schedule, but yeah. <laughs> Yes, yeah, I, yeah, we've been pretty busy with school and stuff. But, uh, yeah, um, so, uh, started off with The Phantom Menace, uh, oh, by the way, this is, um, the fi- third and maybe not final one if we do s- the spinoff movies. Okay, yeah. Of our reviewing the s- trilogies. Well, mm-hmm. there's not, there's not a trilogy of spinoff movies. Yeah, not Yeah. <laughs> Okay. So that's sweet. Okay. Um. All right. Phantom Menace. Uh. So. Uh. St- uh. Uh. Should we start with ratings first? Or oh, okay. Pros. 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 Um. Great. Great. Uh. Great lightsaber fighting. I. I like. I like that it was a lot faster than the original trilogy, and that's what I'm pretty sure George Lucas was like trying to make it a bit more like, like uh, faster paced and everything. So great job to that, and now we have like sick movies full of sick lightsaber battles. So thanks to that, I guess. Um, yeah. All right. Uh, and then the music, uh, Dual Face, that was fantastic. I, I. How could you forget Darth Maul? Oh yeah, and, and and Darth Maul's pretty cool too. Um. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, like the introduction of like Zabrax, I'm pretty sure. Uh, yep. wasn't that the introduction or or was it? There- I think that's that's it. All right. So um, yeah. Um. Oh wait. Um. Oh, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, Jar Jar Binks was included. That's a big plus. Yeah. <laughs> Darth Jar. Oh yeah. J- yep. Darth Jar Jar. Uh, showing all his Sith, uh, techniques and skills during that movie. So, yep. Using all his Force abilities to influence. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Right. yeah. Not a lot of pros to that movie. Well, I mean, there's obviously more. I, I, the battles, like Grayson said, were great. The space battles were really good. Yeah. The tra- we got some, we got some great lines. Like, my lord, is that legal? I shall make it legal. Yeah. I mean, personally, when I first saw it when I was younger, I thought the pod racing scenes were like a little bit boring, but. But I thought it was still like the pod racing scenes. What I found boring was all of the politics. But anyway, that's a perfect segue into the cons. All right, the politics. Okay. <laughs> well, I mean that's not really a con. I, I it, looking back at it now, watching it, rewatching it, it was pretty interesting. Mm. Cons. Dar- Tiny baby Anakin exists. Yeah. Um. Cons. Dar- Jar Jar exists. The pro and con, really. Yeah. All right. So, um, midichlorians, they did not need to be added. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's pretty fair. Oh, what if they added Dark Plagueis, but because he still was alive for a bit of that time. So. No. Well, remember, uh, basically, uh, uh, I mean, Darth, okay. Well, I mean, he, I mean, he was around during that movie, but I mean, I mean, obviously he wasn't in it, but, um, but he, uh, like, Darth Maul wasn't a Sith yet. He was more of just like a, more of just like an assassin who wields the Force and a lightsaber, pretty much. Um. Oh, and uh, uh um, and and Darth Sidious was training him because remember the rule of two, and and how like, uh, if you're like a Sith master, I guess you could, uh, um, I guess you could say you would have to have a a Padawan. Well, he and, actually would have died that year. I be, but uh, but yeah, pretty much like then. But, yeah, the the year it took place. Yeah. Okay. Well. Yeah. Well, that's uh. Uh. Would uh. Would you say that's a. Uh. Do uh, Do you think that would wrap it up for the Phantom Menace? Uh. No. We still have to do our final thing of how we would fix it. Oh. Right. Okay. Um. Uh. I would probably remove the midichlorians. Yeah. Um. Uh, hmm. The pod racing scene is necessary because it that's how he gets out. Mm-hmm. Um 
I would I would keep every single fight that's in there, including like even the ones against the droids and the Gungans. Mm -hmm. I would definitely keep those in. Uh, maybe uh, maybe like change the dialogue a little bit around mm -hmm. stuff. Um, keep everything with darker. In fact, maybe go a little bit deeper into yeah. it and hint some stuff. Mm -hmm. Uh, but I think that's it for episode one. All right. So, what's your rating on it? Um, I gave it six out of ten. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably give it like a six, or um, or like a six point five. The fights were the really only thing keeping it high. Yeah. <laughs> and the music. Yeah, but that's episode yeah, two. That's much it. All right, Attack of the Clones. Attack of the Clones. Um. I thought it was pretty good, uh, with uh, uh, um, uh, with the new Anakin actor because because the other because the only because the other one wasn't old enough yet. I'm pretty sure, but um, that's yeah. that's we we got Jesus um Obi Wan Christ in that one. Yeah, <laughs> which is really good. That's a positive. Yeah, the music, especially the love music, was really good. Across the stars was yeah. so good. Mm -hmm. Um, uh. Probably my favorite line is um is I don't like sand it's coarse and rough and it gets that's, everywhere. Oh, that's that a big pro. Yeah, I know that dude. That line was genius and it was totally necessary. You know, <laughs> Battle of Geonosis was really good. Yeah. <laughs> um, a nice introduction to clones. Oh, yeah the the puppetry of Yoda because he was a puppet. If you guys yeah. didn't know, was so good. Mm hmm. But yeah, so that there's that clones look fresh. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, we, we got some memorable dialogue, such as Anna can come to your senses. <laughs> um, oh, what I don't like saying it's coarse and rough and it gets everywhere. And oh, what else? Um, well, uh, hi, uh, there's another thing, it's just on the tip of my tongue and I can't, uh, remember it. Um, Okay, oh yeah, well, um, two hundred thousand units ready and a million more to go. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Um. All right, that's probably it for pros. We're gonna be spending a lot of time on Revenge of the Sith, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Revenge of the Sith is uh, like my favorite ever movie. So. Yeah. All right. Cons. Cons. The the scene. Well, I'm not gonna lie. A lot of the scenes with Padme and Anakin were iffy at were if at best the the eating scene or the pears oh i forgot about another pro i i killed them all not just the men but the women and children too yeah that was a little bit um i Th mean that was, that was a dark moment but it, w it was really worth it because it yeah. went off like anakin yeah like, uh uh, yeah. yeah, it was yeah, it was necessary because it was showing Anakin's true colors, and that was like the first time Anakin really felt the hatred of like just everything. So yeah. all right, back to cons. All right, um, um, a lot of weird, a lot of weird scenes and places that and things that didn't have to happen, mm -hmm. like yeah. the bounty hunter who was hired by a bounty hunter to kill Padme, but. What was also being watched over that by that by the bounty hunter that hired them, mm -hmm. and then that bounty hunter killed that bounty hunter. That that just didn't need to happen. Yeah, I mean it was a little bit oh, too oh, complicated oh, for that, us. That that was that was a good moment. You went from death sticks. Oh. <laughs> hmm. Wow. Yeah, it's just there's always those kind of people at the bars, though. <laughs> All right. Um. How will we fix it? Um, keep, you know, I'm not gonna lie. Hot take: I'd keep the dialogue, cause you know Jedi aren't really like told like, cause they're not really allowed to like, ha really have like emotions that yeah. for caring about people. Yeah, they don't know how to talk to people. Uh, uh, and um, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, and a good line from um Obi Wan from actually in Battlefront Two is about how um, uh. Uh, is about how like emotion isn't. I mean, like to them, obviously, because they're Jedi, emotion isn't real. Like, and it, and it's all just like peace. I I forgot the exact line, but 
it was something like that. But it's and... also like, oh yeah, also it was like, don't let your emotions get in the way of your actions. Yeah. Which I feel like is, I that can be a good message, like, and like this is real life right now. Yeah. That can be a good and bad message. In a way. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna explain it because I'm not a psychologist, and also, it I I know I just don't know how to explain it, but yeah, I know it's good and bad. Yeah, yeah, I, uh, uh, yeah, we get what you mean, but yes. All right, so cons. Oh. Wait, did we already do cons or? Yeah, we're on how we would fix it. Oh, all right. Um. Uh... A little sad. I'm not gonna lie. Captain Rex wasn't in any of those movies. Yeah, I mean, yeah, but that's because his character was, like, developed later. In the Clone much. Wars. Yeah. Okay, <sighs> the, the best movie to exist other than the original trilogy. Uh, yeah. Okay, pros. Everything. Uh, yeah. There, cons, there are none. Yeah, uh, I would love it if Lucasfilm released, like, the original Four version hours. of the movie with, like, the, where, where like, it was so much longer, and, ju- and just that one mission of, of, saving, uh, of saving Emperor Palpatine took, like, an hour longer, and, mm-hmm. oh my gosh, that, that would be, that would be very cool. Yeah, but, oh, the dialogue, well, we're act- I'm not gonna actually go into detail now, the di- dialogue was so much better in those movies. Yeah. The CGI was incredible in those. Mm-hmm. Like, I could feel myself there. I mm-hmm. wish I could be there. Heck, even as a normal clone trooper or reg. I wish I was on those Venators firing at the like, yeah. broadside. That'd mm-hmm. be so cool. Yeah. Well, Pros, the memes we have gotten out of that, oh boy. Oh, yeah. And also Order Hello 66. There. And the entire Battle of the Heroes scene, including the Battles of the Hero, Battle of the Heroes music and just all of that. It's, uh... Yep. But yeah, the t- the dialogue is just so good in this one. The music, excellent, mm-hmm. all of it. E- the did they play Battle of the Heroes during the Battle of Coruscant? Um, I feel like they did. Yeah, they might have. But yeah, the time has come. Execute Order sixty six. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> now be done, my lord. But yet, it I, it was it was surprised like I was surprised when I was when I first watched it as a kid, I was surprised that that happened. Mm-hmm. And like yeah. even on even on reruns, I was like, what? It, it doesn't get me as much anymore. But yeah, the but yeah the di- dialogue. This movie had like master every emotion possible mm-hmm. like like sadness if you get sad over seeing kids die i know i laugh about it <laughs> um the scene prob about probably the um order 66 is probably supposed is the saddest moment of that movie actually no for me it's the final battle between anakin and obi-wan the, their dialogue is what sells it as the best. I mean, you can see in, like, their facial expressions, uh, just, yeah, just, like, all of that time that the, like, just been together. Ah, oh, this is, that was just very sad. Mm-hmm. <sighs> like, they, they had basically grown up together. Mm-hmm. Open Wall was, what, 14 when his Qui-Gon Jinn died? Yeah, that, Somewhere around yeah, there? Yeah, something like that. And Anakin was nine. Mm-hmm. So yeah, that that's only a five year age gap. That's still basically that's still basically brother age. Uh yeah. I'm doing research real quick. Okay, uh Obi Wan died. Uh okay. Oh, Obi Wan Kenobi is twenty five years old when Qui Gon died. Oh. So I mean he was like oh, I mean he was already an adult for 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 a while actually. But still, it was uh, it was still. Mm. Really sad. But General Grievous was really good. Mm. I, I loved I but yeah, so on to the cons. Cons. It oh. was not lasted it was not long enough. Yeah, it, yeah, it was not long I, enough. 
heck, I look. I'd settle for. I, I would set. I would sell my soul to Disney if it means we get the four-hour cut. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you sell look, your soul. Look, I don't have one, but <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, just having having that. It wasn't long enough to build anything up. Yeah, I, yeah. I really think uh, two hours and a half just isn't long enough for a movie I mean, like, like Ave- that. Avengers Endgame. It really didn't need to be that long. Yeah, I mean, well, but but I but I also but 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 I also appreciate be, uh, that. Yeah, it was I that appreciate long. it being long because it set up time to do stuff. Yeah. But I what I think the biggest con for me is the removed dialogue between Obi Wan and Padme. Mm-hmm. Let me just pull it. When, when we just pull it up real quick, so uh, you just keep talking about. Stuff. All right. Okay. Well, there's a bug going on, re- on going around on YouTube right now, which makes you unsubscribe. So make sure you are subscribed and hit the post notification bell, so you so you get uploads when we no you get notifications and when we upload. So um, yeah. So uh, also make sure to like the video. Uh, sorry, you're you're not able to comment. That's because we're under sixteen. So, mm-hmm. I mean, like, I, I mean, like, we're under 18. All right. I, I have the dialogue. All right. Uh, so, so yeah. Thank you, everybody. Oh, so don't forget to like. Yeah. So, I am not blind, Padme, though I have tried to be for Anakin's sake and for yours. Anakin loved you since the day you met in that horrible junk shop on Tatooine. He's never even tried to hide it, though we do not speak of it. We pretend that I don't know. And I was happy, to because it made him happy. You made him happy. When nothing else truly could. I would love for that to be in there, dude. Yeah. Hmm. But, yeah. But, yes. How we, how we would fix it? Make it longer? Yeah. Uh, yeah, make it a longer. Uh, um. Uh. If we, look, if we ever get the time and... Somehow, I don't know. We will do a watch through of Revenge of the Sith and give our deep personal opinions about it. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be a while. That may never actually happen. It may be a while before that happens. But if we can, we will try it. Yeah, I mean, or we could stream like a. I mean, somehow we could stream like watching the complete saga. Oh gosh! From, from beginning to finish. I mean, that would, I mean, that would take us, like, a day, but. Mm-hmm. So, so, yeah. I think this may have been a shorter one than our other ones. Oh, yeah, definitely. There's this just is a not lot shorter. Sure. Sure. There's just not a lot to go into detail about, really. Mm-hmm. I, I found the movies all enjoyable. So, not as much, but. In my heart, every movie is, a, every Star Wars movie, it has a place in my heart. All right. Uh, we, uh. Uh, we forgot to rate Attack of the Clones, so... Oh, uh, uh, 6 out of 10. 6 out of 10? I'll probably yeah. rate it 6.5. Yeah, okay. Revenge of the Sith, 8, 10.10. 10. 10 out of 10. <laughs> 100 out of 10. <laughs> okay. Okay, before we go, I have one meme to tell you. Okay. That was from, directly from Obi-Wan's mouth. Uh, it will be on the screen right now, so... All right. Qui-Gon's death actually wasn't in the script. Liam and I had become great friends during filming. Ray, the actor of Darth Maul, got jealous, so one day, out of nowhere, he just stabs Liam. Then I got mad and cut Ray in half. Turns out George was filming the whole time. <laughs> hey, who knows? Maybe we'll include a meme, Star Wars meme every day. Oh, yeah, I mean, that would be pretty cool. Yeah. I'll never know. And, Bye. um, okay, goodbye and enjoy this music. Peace. Peace.